That was duet number 98. It's called Bait and Switch. <clears throat> and it comes from this book, which is called The Big Book of Sight Reading Duets. I wrote this to help you with your sight reading. Now, obviously, I know these, so I'm not sight reading. But I did want to show you one way you could use the book. It's pretty simple, really. You just record one part while you have that metronome clicking, and then you play that back and as you play it back, obviously, you play the other part. So you essentially get to sight read twice, and on the second time, when you're putting the two parts together, you have to have the confidence to count and play your part, yet still be sensitive to the other part so that you're fitting them together in ensemble and uh, in a balanced way. So it's a great way to work on your sight reading. It's called The Big Book of Sight Reading Duets, and there are 100 duets in this book. So once you read all of them, you can go back and do it again, and chances are you're not going to remember the first ones. You shouldn't practice these. You need to just make it a sight reading book. And obviously, some of them, like the one that I played, are rhythmically very complicated and intense. So you really have to stick to your guns. That's part of the problem with some younger folks with sight reading is they approach it with the assumption that they will be wrong and you've got to turn that around if you're in that situation you have to start thinking to yourself confidently so that you move forward and you don't stop one of the biggest problems with sight reading is people who are sight reading and then they stop to go back and fix a mistake well, this is logical, it makes sense, it's what we do in the practice room. Well, you have to get out of that habit when you're doing your sight reading, because the worst thing you can do is stop and go back. You have to continue and put everything where it belongs rhythmically, and don't second guess yourself. There's more sight reading help for you on the sight reading button of trombonetools.com.